Hey guys, my local friend Melinda is moving and we um, were told, come clean this stuff out. So we are doing just that. Um, oh, look at this darling tree skirt. Oh my gosh, that is just precious and in great shape. I love that. Melinda was a local dealer um, here in one of our flea markets called Sweet Williams. And she and I have known each other for probably about five years now. And she called me and she said, hey, um, I'm moving and I want to clear some stuff out. And I said, I will be there. So um, this has been a fun moving sale. A lot of vintage Christmas goodies here. And um, I'm very excited about that. So let's take a look. Love that coffee bin. Um, we've got some Beesel die cuts and it looks like some honeycombs. Gonna grab that turkey for sure. Uh, looks like more ephemera and die cuts, which are great for fall. So I'm gonna snag that pack. And look at this. This is spectacular. So this is a huge vintage door hanging uh it could go on the wall too but it's enormous and the details are beautiful the colors are great and it is vintage so yeah i definitely am gonna have to take that and it rolls up really nicely so uh i snagged it now this is the funniest thing ever she is a vintage mannequin head with this groovy fabric and her eyes and her mouth look like they are sweetly cut out of felt somehow look at that oh my gosh you guys i'm gonna grab her i love that kind of thing i've got another honeycomb pumpkin looks great and then um looks like some mary figural pieces those are beautiful i think this one is maybe a planter yes gonna snag these i think they're lovely make a little pile and um oh these are so fun i love these little um felt handmade wall arts and this is a little felt handmade tree skirt it's a little pilled so i didn't end up snagging this um just because of the condition but oh my god it's so cute got some sugar glazed ornaments those are always fun um i ended up snagging those too some tree toppers and some ceramic trees. Oh, I love these. Drip glaze. Little Napco guys. Napco deer. Um, sorry, my filming's a little wonky. I'm just excited. <laughs> so uh, we have all these ceramic trees. I took them all, you guys. And Melinda cut me an insane deal, as you know. Um, got everything here for $100. And got everything that I wanted. Really appreciated the great deals. And uh, Melinda made me a bundle deal and she said, and I literally made a pile and she said, how about a hundred for everything? And I said, perfect. Sounds good to me. So all these trees are coming. Um, there's big ones. There's small ones. There's all kinds of little vintage crocheted mittens and fairy lights. And um, yeah, I'm just excited. Love this little Napco guy too. I'm going to snag him. Super cute. I even got a little glass tree as well. Look at all of these, you guys. And there's a base only, which I know someone is going to need. So anytime I find those Christmas tree bases like that one, I just snag them because I know someone out there needs it for their tree. So I got all of this stuff, all of it. I'm so excited. This was a vintage Sunbeam mixer. I did pass that behind just because I didn't want to ship it. And then there's a little box of, of tiny littles to look through. So that's always fun. We are on a time crunch today. So I'm probably going to just take the whole box. And uh, looks like there's some little tchotchkes in here. Squirrel may be missing an ear. I've got a Santa. But a lot of this stuff is great for crafting too. So I'm going to go through all of this. Um, and I think I'm just going to snag that whole box. Look at these little bone china friends. Owl, doggies, and deer. I'm gonna put those in there and definitely snag them. Just darling. Lots of littles, guys. Y'all know that we love the smalls. And it looks like some more vintage books, some vintage ephemera. Oh my word, look at these precious Christmas cards. Oh, and they're new in the box. Those are darling, I have to get those. 
I've got a little bit of Pyrex, it looks like. This is a little deer mug. Oh, that's cute. To Papa, Love MM, 1982. Oh, I like how it looks like a branch. That's cute. Some little tchotchke buddies here. This mid-century lamp we did end up grabbing as well. That was included in our $100, and it's gorgeous. So David's thinking about keeping it in the office, but we might actually end up selling it too. So stay tuned. I'm not sure if you're interested in the lamp. Message me. Um, got some bottles. Those are pretty. It looks like a crystal decanter and a Madonna and Child figurine. Very 60s. It's very heavy and very large. Oh, I love that. Look at her little eyelashes and everything. Very pretty. I'm probably going to leave it behind just because it's very heavy and very, very large. I think it would cost a small fortune to ship that guy. Um, some glass. Those are old decanters as well. I did pass on those just because I feel like they're more common. So, um, really pretty though, right? Some jewelry, some clothes. Looks like a wooden beaded curtain. That's cool. Ooh, we've got Afghans down here to dig through. You know, I'm here for that. And some linens. Looks like, oh, that little pattern is so groovy and retro. I think it's a Noah's Ark um, 1960s pattern. It's very popular. I'll probably snag that. It's a little pillowcase. And again, that wooden beaded curtain is gorgeous, but it's very, very heavy. So I'm probably not going to fool with that because it's also hard to show. I did end up grabbing that little bundle for $2 of the crocheted goodies. Lots of linens to dig through. I did end up digging through quite a bit. I love this figural <clears throat> bust. That is great. Again, don't have a place for it. Don't want to ship it, but Melinda always has great stuff. Looks like a stack of Sesame Street books. Whole set. Oh my gosh. She looks like, this Cabbage Patch Kid looks like my Tracy Marie that I had went in 1984. So cute. And then, oh, we've got ephemera to dig through. I love that. Baby Ewoks picnic surprise. Oh my gosh, yes, please. Baby Ewoks for the win. Um, Dad's favorite selections, little songbook. I love digging. Let's see, Betty. Oh, this is old. The Betty Fairy book. That dates to probably the 20s, I would say. It's in rough shape. The cover is coming off, but the pages are so good for anyone that enjoys ephemera, likes to frame this kind of thing, or uses it for junk journals. Um, I am going to snag it just because I think that someone could find value in doing something with the ephemera itself. And looking through the rest of these pieces. We've got some die cut turkeys for fall. Love those guys. I usually typically leave um, the pilgrims behind and just focus on pumpkins. This is an old Bambi sheet music waltz. How fun. Oh my goodness. This is precious. Definitely going to grab that. I love the Bambi. Okay, we're back in. I'm digging, guys, so bear with me. And I'm one of those people that I am filming as I'm digging. So if it looks a little squirrely, please forgive me um, <laughs> because I get a wild hair and I try to film, but then I also want to see what I'm doing. So it's uh, sometimes it's a little discombobulated. I appreciate your patience. We do have some space stuff. This is, um, I believe it's an old German laminated piece. And I did grab that. It's really different. It has some folklore behind it. And I love the style of the art. So I did grab that. She's got a little deer she's looking at. Isn't that neat? All right. We're going to dig through linens now, guys. Um, I did find some tablecloths, which are fun. Got a few of these. And they were in good shape with little fringes and everything. I love that old um, bark cloth. And those uh, vintage florals are really nice. So making a pile per usual. Some more tea towels. I'm sorry we're so up close. We're literally in the linen bin, guys. I got excited and we just started digging. So 
Digging for linens. Love that mustard yellow too. That had a great fringe. I'm always looking for jewelry to wear on my live shows and I rarely buy anything new myself. Um, in fact, I treated myself to some new clothes like a month ago and it felt weird. So um, <laughs> everything that I own is pretty much thrifted, garage sailed, um, and that goes for my jewelry too. So um, definitely love all of these earrings. They're really cool. Thank you, Melinda. That's a yummy little colorful bracelet. I love that. Those are fun to give as gifts too, like little bracelet for your friend. Um, cute necklace. Got some faux turquoise. It's cute. And then always need a good pair of earrings. I like white earrings too because I have dark hair, so they usually show up well. All right, we're in a whole bin of linens, guys. And vintage linens are just wonderful. Look at this fiddle leaf fig. It is a gorgeous plant. If I had another place for it, I would take it off her hands. I really do love that fiddle leaf fig. Um, and it's in nice shape. But back to linen. Sorry, I'm easily distracted. What do you guys think about vintage linens? Do you find them yummy? Do you think they're gross? Uh, do they bother you? I know personally, David and I do use vintage linens. Of course, I launder them very well. And uh, anytime I can find vintage pillowcases, especially the king-sized ones, I do try to grab those. Um, we've got some Holly Hobby sets in here too that are really cute. I'm probably going to leave these and take all of the pillowcases because that's typically what I do. Um, I love that old 70s rainbow print, very popular. Once upon a time on Instagram, those used to sell like crazy. And um, have some more pillowcases down in here. Look at this. I love these colors for fall. Okay, that's cute. It's got kind of an Art Nouveau design to it as well. And then these are also pillowcases. I love the blue. And a lot of the vintage linens that I find too, I think are typically uh, like twin or full size, which we don't have any beds that size in our home. So I pass those up a lot. But if you guys are interested in twin or full size linens, let me know um, because I do have some that I eventually probably should get rid of. Okay, look at these. Permapressed Superman. And it's a fitted sheet and it's new in the package. It is a twin. Somebody needs that. That is so cute. And I would use it. Just use them. They're great. All right. It looks like also we have, oh my goodness, we have the most wonderful Hawaiian vintage 1960s photo album filled with someone's Hawaii vacation pictures. And it is Uncle Bob and Aunt Marge. Oh my God, look at this. Okay, I love this kind of thing, you guys. Any of these old photos. Does it just blow your mind sometimes to look at that face? That Does it blow your mind that someone's family left these behind? Um, and these aren't Melinda's family. This is stuff she's picked as well. Um, hotel at Honolulu. They are living it up in Hawaii. Oh my gosh, these are amazing. David and I are perusing this because the pictures are just so good. Oh, these old photos are a hoot. Oh, hey, we are looking snazzy for a luau. Look at those prints. Oh my God, I love their dresses. Everybody's dressed to the nines to go to the, their luau in Hawaii. Friends from Seattle, they're telling secrets. You know they are. How cute. All right, guys. So back to my haul. I've made a pile here. My pile also includes all those ceramic trays and pretty much everything I showed you that I picked up of interest, I snagged. I got everything for $100 total. And the pile of Christmas and ceramics was intense. So David's already taken that to the car. But I am so grateful. Um, this is the last thing that I found. And it is very special. And it's probably one of my most favorite things I found yesterday. It's Nursery Birds by Kenner. And it is an old crib toy with seven familiar birds. And look at this, you guys. It's all there. They're all in lovely shape. Um, they're just darling. Absolutely beautiful. And it's still intact. 
Um, so I was excited about that. Copyright 1953 Kenner products. Um, I will be selling this and it will be upcoming in one of my sales. But yeah, I was really smitten with the nursery birds and I had to snag these as well. Again, all included in my $100 uh, purchase today. And I am just pleased as punch. So Melinda, thank you. Thank your family. I wish you guys the best in Alabama. Thank you for this wonderful pile of goodies. Mm -hmm.